Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Brandon with Kindly Ops and today we're talking cell phone webcam apps. Current world conditions have led to a surge in video conferencing. And because of this, you've probably noticed there's a shortage of webcams. You can still find USB webcams on sites such as eBay or Amazon, but you can also expect to pay an arm and a leg. I've seen some of these cameras selling for three, four, even five times as much as what they would for retail. So what are our options? Well, with the shortage of USB webcams, we've also seen some new app options pop up that would allow a user to turn their cell phone into a webcam. Pretty cool, right? How's this work? Well, you plug your charging cable into your cell phone and your cell phone into your computer. And some of these apps even work using Wi-Fi. Today, we're gonna demo two of these apps, Epic by Canoni and Camo by Reincubate. We'll talk about what's good with these apps and also what we don't like. I'll be demoing the apps using an iPhone X connected to a MacBook Pro. Now to get us started, let's take a look at the Epic Cam. That's E-P-O-C. Well, here we are. This is the Epic Cam. So how am I doing this? Well, right now I have my phone on a tripod. And then I have a USB to lightning cable going from my phone into the computer. I have the Epic Cam app opened on my phone, and on the computer, I have the drivers installed. There's no software, there's no app for your computer, uh, but you will need the drivers installed in order for this to work. It is not plug and play. Uh, right now, we're broadcasting the video, as I mentioned, through the cable. There's another option as well. Uh, you can broadcast through Wi-Fi. Um, however, we noticed while testing this with a Zoom call that the Wi-Fi option did leave quite a bit of lag there on your video, and that uh, using the cable is a much better option. We're using the paid version right now. It's about $8 and it allows you to broadcast or record in 1080 as opposed to 720. So right now let's go ahead and we'll jump over to their website. We'll take a look at some of the requirements as well as uh, the different features that the paid version offers as opposed to the free version. All right. Here we are over on Canoni's website. This is where you will turn your phone into a webcam for free using the Epic Cam. Now we talked about this already, but let's just glance over four simple steps. You're gonna connect your computer and your phone with a Wi-Fi network or a USB cable. You'll download and install the drivers for your Mac or Windows machine right here. You'll get your Epic Cam app for your iPhone or Android phone here and then you'll charm the world with your smile. Are you ready to rock? Let's check out the support and instructions page. Now we're just gonna look at step one and step five here. Step one is your requirements. So you're gonna need an iOS device with 10.3 or later, an Android device with 4.0 or later. You'll need your Epic Cam drivers. You can download those there for free. Mac OS 10.11 or later, and Windows 7 or later. You'll also need a Wi-Fi network or USB cable connected from your phone to a computer. Now this says iOS only. Uh, however, it's followed by a statement that says on Windows, USB connection also requires iTunes installation. And so we tested this and yes, it does in fact work on Windows using USB. However, when we come down to our pro versus free version comparison chart, you'll see, well, we'll get there, video resolution, 1920 by 1080 on the pro version that is the paid version the free version only offers up to 480 pixels uh, both versions contain a front camera option a wi-fi connection option the pro and free version usb connection it says ios only this is wrong we've checked it on the windows ver uh, machine and yes it does work you will need itunes installed uh, ndi connection says ios only we didn't check that it may or may not be uh, choose connection mode usb wi-fi ndi ios only again you know it may or may not work on windows uh, pro version contains all of the following free version does not microphone usage uh, with epic cam pinch to zoom says ios only manual focus flashlight hdr video dual camera adjust video quality all of those three are ios only supposedly uh, watermarks how do we feel about those uh, well buy the paid version get rid of it same with advertisements paid version will get rid of those as well 
So this is the Epic Cam. This is uh, my phone uh, plugged into the computer and it is functioning as a webcam. This is great. Why? Well, because for $8, we've taken something that we already own and we've turned it into a webcam. We don't need to uh, go out and uh, sell a kidney to buy one of the overpriced webcams that we see online right now. So if you're in need of a webcam, check out Epic Cam. But this isn't our only option. Let's go ahead and we'll jump over and check out the Camo Cam by Reincubate. Before we move on to the Camo Cam, let's go ahead and check out the app interface for the Epic Cam. Now I'm on the front facing camera right now. If I click this button in the top right, that will swap to the rear facing camera. And that's pointed at my monitor. And we'll go ahead and flip it back to the front facing camera. The button under that will mirror your video. And then next we have the settings cog wheel. That brings up some settings to adjust video bitrate, your connection method, NDI resolution, chroma key color, and chroma cutoff. Under that, we have a smiley face with a green background. If you guessed it, that will be our chroma or our green screen. All right, cool, shut that off. And that is going to automatically flip our camera to the rear facing camera. So we'll switch back. And then in the top left, we have our eye or info. Let's click that. So we get a setup guide, which is some text dialog on the screen if we click that. And then the next button, Setup Video, will take you to a YouTube video on how to set up your Epic Cam video. All right, here we are in the Camo Cam. Now, if it looks a little different, that's because we are now recording 720 rather than the 1080 that we were with Epic Cam. With Epic, we purchased the Pro version for $8 and we unlocked 1080p. With Camo, you can do the same. You can pay and unlock the Pro version to get 1080. However, uh, the price tag is a little more expensive. You're gonna pay $39.99 a year. Yeah, that's right. Uh, why? They're essentially doing the same thing, right? They're turning, allowing us to turn our cell phone into a webcam. Well, with Epic, if you remember, we had drivers that we installed on the computer and then we plugged our phone in and it, uh, it worked with the app. But that was about it. We didn't get a whole lot of uh, features or settings to mess around with. Well, with Camo, there are no drivers, um, but you will get a very nice piece of software that you can install on your computer. And with that software, we'll see that you can uh, make adjustments to your video, uh, the, the saturation, the brightness, the, the hue, all of that um, within the Camo app. So. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. Um, we see in the features 1080 with the Pro, 720 without. It works with Zoom, Meet, Microsoft Teams, Skype, etc. Uh, you're gonna get your software like we talked about. We'll check that out in a second. It's plug and play. So unlike uh, Epic that you had to download uh, drivers, no drivers here, just plug it in and it works. As if that was so difficult though. Anyway. Uh, screenshots. Here's some screenshots of the software that you will get and they're showing you right over here that you can make drastic changes to your exposure, temperature, brightness, and so on. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll check out what is it compatible with. Well right now uh, Camo Cam is only compatible with Mac OS and iOS. So you have to have an Apple product in order to use Camo. But good news for Windows, Camo is coming soon. Uh, sign up to their mailing list and they'll let you know when it's out. All right, well, now that you've heard a little bit about Camo, let's go ahead and check out the software that they offer. Okay, here we are inside of the Reincubate Camo Studio software. Now this is the software that you will get when you download uh, the camo app um, with the free version you have no access really to anything in here however with the paid version 39.99 annually you will have access to all of these uh, controls and settings let's just look through it real quick and see what we have so we have our source this is the camera we want to use we can select our lens because our iphone has a front and rear camera 
resolution is set to 720. If we drill in here, we see we have a 1080 option, but it's grayed out because we are not paying for the pro version. We can pause our camera. We can adjust flash level, uh, watermark video. We can turn that off, mirror the video, rotation, zoom, drag to move while zoom. Um, over here we have presets. Now this says coming soon, but what this will do is allow you to set up your capture settings uh, based on the look you're, you're going for um, and then save it as a preset. So if you have multiple presets saved, let's say you're recording a video or you're uh, in a conference in your living room and you know these are the settings that get you looking right in that lighting. Um, and then maybe you're on your laptop and you're using this in your bedroom. Um, yeah, different presets. They will allow you to look different in different areas of your home or office. So what can we do? Shutter speed, ISO, brightness, temperature, tint, hue, saturation, contrast, gamma, and sharpness. You have full control over the look of your camera. That's pretty cool. Um, is it $39.99 a year cool? Well, you be the judge. Um, maybe you won't use this, maybe you will. Right now, you can use this camo app or uh, the Epic Cam app for free. So <clears throat> if you don't have a webcam or maybe your laptop webcam just looks like trash, these are some options that you can work with. Um, and you don't have to necessarily pay for the full versions for the pro versions. You can do this uh, for free. Okay, so here we are inside of the iOS app for Camo. You can see that there's not as many settings as there was in the Epic Cam app. Um, in the top right here, we have a question mark. This will probably be help, so we'll click this. Camo, getting started. This will explain how to get the app working. Uh, we have some featured articles, getting started, frequently asked questions, uh, how to mount an iPhone webcam. Oh, this, this is neat, so they have some options in here to go to articles, um, how to look your best on a video call. These are these are helpful things for a lot of people uh, who are new to um, video conferencing, who are maybe working from home for the first time. So that was nice of them to throw some, some of this in here in their app. Uh, get in touch, our experts are here to help. So you can contact them directly um, if you have any questions. Uh, or you'd like to request that they make this a one-time purchase rather than annual. So what else do we have here? We have a little button on the bottom that is just a watermark. And that's it. That's all we have in the iOS app. All right, there you have it. A couple of nice options if you're looking to upgrade your webcam and maybe you don't want to spend the coin that everyone is saying a webcam is worth right now. Uh, go ahead and grab your cell phone, download Epic Cam, download Camo, give them a try. Uh, we want to thank you so much for hanging out with us here at Kindly Ops today. And until next time, take care.